Hello and welcome to an FPGA Visual Lecture. In this video, I will show you how an algorithm can detect the lanes uh, of a street. And if you have a look in the literature, you will see that um, the main algorithm that is proposed for this task is the Sobel filter. So we will implement the Sobel filter as an algorithm in C um, to check how it is suitable for our application of lane detection and um, what parameters we need for an FPGA implementation. The basic operation of uh, the Sobel filter is depicted uh, in this graphic. You have uh, a matrix for horizontal and for vertical processing and both are working on a 3x3 three three image region. These are then combined um, by taking the square of both, um, of both parts and um, taking the square root. And then you get a value g which corresponds to the, the strength of an edge uh, in the image. The next step uh, would then be to um, combine the different edges you have in an image to find lanes. And this is usually done by the Huff transformation. The Huff transformation is a transformation between your image um, region where um, you have the different edges um, into a half space um, where the edges um, you are having are sorted or are uh, represented um, due to their position and their angle. Um, we will not cover the half transformation in this um, FPGA vision lecture. Uh, we will focus on the lane detection, but of course, if you're interested, um, you're welcome to expand the algorithm to really um, interpreting um, the edges and uh, also finding then lanes uh, in, in the image. For evaluating the algorithm, we need some test images. And um, for this um, video, we have a look at three different images. The first image uh, that you see here is a motorway in Germany, two lane motorway, and um, visibility is good. So um, the algorithm should work quite well. The second image is a street in Spain and again visibility is good. Um, you should again be able to extract the lanes uh, quite well from this image. And the third image we use as a test image here is a lane in Denmark. Uh, here visibility is not so good. So the algorithm uh, might have some problems, but this is also interesting to see how stable the algorithm is and how it handles uh, situations that are not ideal. Let's have a look at the first test images and apply the Sobel algorithm to it. We um, have a look in the detail of one of the images um, and uh, here we see um, part of the street where we want to uh, find an edge. Uh, we see that the road itself um, has RGB values of about 150 and the lane markings, which will um, show us uh, where we have the boundaries, have uh, RGB values of 220 for RGB. And uh, you can translate that from uh, RGB domain into the luminance um, by having certain factors, as you see in this image, for uh, RGB. And as RGB uh, in this simple application all have the same values, um, also luminance um, is 150 and 220. So let's consider a vertical edge. We have uh, some pixels with a value of 150, others with 220. And if we take the Sobel filter, we get um, from the horizontal filter a value of minus 280. And uh, from the vertical filter, we get a value of zero. So if we take both values to the square, add them, take the square root, we get a value of g uh, with 280, which is um, an indication of the edge we have here. We can do the same processing for other configurations. So we have uh, in this image some edges that are not vertical, but that are diagonal or on a slope. Um, you can do some calculations what values uh, would be resulting from such a configuration take a paper and a pen and calculate it yourself. No answers are given, so um, just check it for yourself if you're interested. 
And this gives us an indication how the algorithm will perform. This is just for our understanding of this algorithm. So the next step would be an implementation as a C program. Um, we take um, our test images and we let this algorithm run for a number of test images. And this is uh, exactly uh, what I have prepared for you. So um, you have um, a C file which um, does the following processing. Um, first, you open the test images. Um, then you have uh, a loop for all pixels um, in X and Y for uh, the image. And for every pixel, um, you do a processing of reading the pixel uh, around the current position. You convert the RGB uh, to the luminance. You perform the Sobel filter, um, write the resulting uh, value to the image. And then after you completed the loop, you write the complete image back to the file and can, can check what the result of your processing is. Um, to visualize the results, um, we um, want to have an image of the edge, uh, edges in the, um, in the street scenes that we're seeing. And um, as we saw, a typical value would be something like 280. We want edges to be visible uh, as black, and where we have no edges, we want to have a, a white um, pixel at this position because this um, gives, gives a nice image to, um, to check the, the algorithm. And um, therefore, um, we calculate an output pixel, we divide g by a factor of 2, and then subtract uh, this value from the white, uh, white pixel, which would have a value of 255. All this has been um, programmed um, for uh, opening and, and handling the test images. Um, we use a package called uh, BMP24 underscore IO, which is uh, available on SourceForge. All calculations um, have been done in floating point because that's uh, at the moment uh, easier for us to do. Um, you can find uh, the C file under the name of uh, lane float and um, it has been uh, verified um, with the GNU-C compiler um, on SciWin under Windows 10. So let's have a look at um, this uh, processing. Here is uh, the program code. Um, we don't go into details on that. You can have a look at it on your own. So here you have a terminal where you can uh, compile the C file. GCC lane float.c then uh, you can execute it um, and uh, give the name of the test images as an argument and um, you can do this for different uh, images to check the performance so now we have a look at the results of this filtering here you see um, the three different test images again First, uh, the, the motorway in Germany, and um, this is the result of the Sobel filtering. You see that the edges are clearly visible, so apparently the algorithm is working. This is the road in Spain. Again, uh, the algorithm is uh, working fine. And this is the, sea, uh, the scene uh, which is a bit critical, the bridge in Denmark on a rainy day. So um, still you see some edges and the result is quite okay. You might have to adjust the uh, values for detecting a lane. So this would be a task for uh, the system later on that interprets the result of the solar filter. So now you've seen how uh, an algorithm works that uh, detects lane boundaries uh, in a street scene. And uh, I invite you to have a look at the other uh, videos uh, in this uh, lecture where you can learn how to implement such an algorithm on an FPGA and uh, verify it and you will also have the opportunity to try out the algorithm on a remote lab. So yeah, have a look at the other lectures and uh, I hope uh, you find them useful.